Hi friends, today I'm going to do unboxing for uh, Hitachi air condition. So uh, and also before that, uh, um, going to share some of the uh, points we need to consider before uh, going to purchase SE. So uh, I'm not saying that Hitachi is the one is better one, but this is one of the better one in a few of the um, SEs. Okay. So the first point we need to consider is we should be aware about the square feet of our room. So the room size we should be aware that then only we can select what capacity of uh, AC we need to uh, purchase. So that's an important point and there is the measurement is like uh, like this. So if the room size is between uh, 80 square feet and uh, 130 square feet then you can select uh, one ton AC. So if the room size is uh, between 130 square feet and 180 square feet then you can go for 1.5 ton AC and uh, if the room size is uh, between um, 180 square feet and 250 square feet then you can go for 2 ton uh, AC so this is the way we can identify what kind of capacity AC we need to select so then uh, again this is a basic information but again uh, it depends on multiple factors so for example if our room having uh, many equipments and also the many people are occupied and um, that is the case you need to go for one level high and also sometimes if our room is uh, in top floor and if we get the sunny inside the room so if more heat is there in our room again we need to prefer one level high so in the sense if you are preferring based on the measurement if you are going to select one ton ac so if whatever condition i mentioned it now so if it is applicable for you definitely go for 1.5 ton ac so this is the way we need to primarily select what capacity ac we need to select or we need to buy from the shop yeah second point is uh, so the technology so there are basically two kinds of air condition will be available one is uh, inverter ac and non inverter ac so if you are selecting inverter AC, so that will be a good option for saving your uh, power. So we can always select uh, inverter AC instead of uh, non-inverter AC. The third point is uh, um, regarding the rating. So you may see that uh, the three star rating and five star rating ACs. So uh, the if you are going for higher rating um, ACs like five star rating that will, uh, you know, the, your consumption, energy consumption will be less so and three star uh, is not bad but it's again comparing comparing with five star rating it will be little less but again so it's based on usage when you are selecting the ac so you, if you are frequently using and uh, um, you are you are in all day you are planning to use and your usage is more then definitely you can go five star rating otherwise if you are um, not regularly using and uh, um, your usage is three to four four hours per day then definitely you can select a three star rating so what is the advantage when you are selecting a three star rating is so it will be cost will be less than the um, higher rating ones so that you can save investing less money on the um, ac if you are not using very frequently okay so then uh, next point is condenser coil so you may see there are two types of coils available one is aluminium coil and copper coil so you always select copper coil so that will give more life uh, instead of aluminium oil so uh, these are the four points i would like to discuss with you so one main point is you should be aware of the room size that will help you to select your capacity of the ac and second point is technology you always select inverter ac and third point is um, three star and five star rating if you are uh, your usage is heavily then you can go five star if we are not regularly using select three star and uh, uh, fourth one is um, uh, regarding coil always select copper coil ac